Pierce, are you more haunted by uh, John Goodman's face on a thumb in the commercial or the lack of witnesses at the impeachment witness? I'm, I'm not haunted by anything because I am COVID clean. Yay! 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 My last test results, yes. This Esquire writer, not... this Esquire writer is clean. Yes, fantastic. I am clean. <laughs> I am as clean as a Safeway chitlin. Okay. And I, I'm sorry, I blocked Jody Hamilton. Go ahead, Jody. Good morning, Charlie Pierce. Ah, good morning, Jody Hamilton. I'm so clean. Oh, <laughs> you can go ahead and you can go ahead and Fauci him now. <laughs> That's the thing the kids are calling it. Uh, Charlie, yeah, really. Charlie, let's stir up this witness thing all over again. You said ultimately my disappointment <laughs> at uh, the today's Senate activities lies in the fact that by taking a dive on witnesses, the Democrats let the Republicans off the hook. Sure, they forced one vote in support of sedition, but they blew a chance to demonstrate Republicans' complicity over and over again. Um, I've, I've said I understand all the legal arguments why now, but you're right. I was I was, I was very I, exercised. I, I, it was very anticlimactic. Uh, climactic. Uh, I really was expecting, uh, at the very least, Kevin McCarthy on the grill. Yeah. Well, I mean, you your piece you said ultimately Donald Trump beat the system again. I'm not interested in the verdict of history. I want to perp walk, and knock the march of time. Hey, I, I'm. I'm going to be that dead too. when history hangs that hands down its verdict on this. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a special pleader here. Yeah, yeah. I want my comeuppance now. Yeah, you said <laughs> no. I love the way you mm -hmm. said it. You said leg irons, not legacies. There's nobody for whom I'm rooting louder than uh, Fanny Willis, the DA of Fulton County, who gives every indication she plans to haul the vulgar talking yam into a local courthouse. And if Baby Jesus is still my amigo, stick him in prison blues and dump him in a holding cell with has with a leaky ceiling. Yes, that I sh we share that dream, but I but I think you're right. I mean, just any this is not this is yeah. not, this is an argument I've left behind though too. The whole witnesses thing. I yeah. mean, because it's yeah. it's at this point, uh, it's just it it's just a pointless club to to beat Democrats over the right. head with. I agree. And, yeah, I agree. And I I yeah. I mean, you said, but I mean, the larger point is you said the system didn't work Saturday, um, and no ex post. A post facto mudslide of inanity from Mitch McConnell can obscure the fact the system was completely incapable of reining in and coping with and ultimately punishing one of the most grossly incompetent authoritarians to ever attain high office. I mean, it, that's it. You know, Charlie, who do we see about this? <laughs> who do we see about yeah, this? There is no manager. I mean, there's no manager to, to, to see about this. Uh, I, mean, I guess we're going to have to wait for, you know, whatever this thing is that Nancy Pelosi's trying to cobble together. Yeah. And there's no more terrifying phrase in, in, in Washington than the phrase Blue Ribbon Commission. Yeah. Because it yeah. is, blue, at least in my experience, Blue Ribbon Commissions are the living embodiment of the concept of better than nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, Neil Katyal, we were saying yesterday, did say they can make criminal referrals, uh, you know, and obviously Mitch McConnell said this is for the criminal justice system, you know, it, it, but just here we are again. Are we going to go, oh, well, no, that'll we have to move on and blah, 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 because it, it's Charlie. I just don't see how historically and rule of law wise we just move on from this, how how we for precedent's sake, for I, any sake, how do we just say all of this is OK? And we're not going to well, safeguard I mean, it, that this it, does I not think happen. It's up to us collectively as a country to say we're not moving on. Right. Uh, we are going to we're going to penalize all of you guys who voted to support this, uh, and we're not buying your ridiculous constitutional, you know, fig leaf. Yeah. Which is yeah. It's, ins it's insulting. Uh, it's insulting to the ordinary citizen. It's insulting to constitutional law. It's insulting insulting to logic. Uh, I just, you know, it, 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 that's the only thing left is that. And I guess we can hope Fanny Willis down there does her job. Yeah. Yeah. You said a nation turns its lonely eyes to you, Fanny Willis. Um, yeah. Among others. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, I, I, I think that's the, I don't, Here's the thing. I Yes, I think there are. He's a criminal, Charlie. Like we always say, Richard Nixon was a president who became a criminal. Donald Trump is a criminal that became president. He has always been a criminal. There are, there's any number of state and local. But but I just think as the United States, as the United States nationally, the government, we have to somehow put safeguards in this in accepting foreign help to get elected, to cheat, to try to stay in office, to 
uh, stop the peaceful transfer of power. I mean, this is just, I, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills, Charlie. This just can't be like, okay, we're done now. Can it? No, I, I mean, to me, no. Uh, and to me, I think it's an enormously, it, it's enormous, it, it is enormously ill-served uh, to put the country through this and then say, well, it was just an aberration. It won't happen again. I guarantee you it will happen again. Right. Well, that's and that's part of why is because we're saying, oh, this is no. I mean, you you t- Senator John Cornyn tweeted House Republicans demand answers from Pelosi on security decisions leading up to Capitol riot. And you just said, dear Texas, one senator who isn't a complete tool. That's all we ask. Sincerely, America. <laughs> I mean, they're going to this is what they were going to do, even if we call witnesses is put Nancy Pelosi right. on trial. It's like and, this and, is Nancy and Pelosi's find fault. Way, I mean, find a way to blame it on Hillary Clinton. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. I mean, I just, it's insane what's happening in the states. You retweeted someone who said some Utah Republicans are circulating a petition to censure Mitt Romney that includes, whereas Senator Will- Willard Mitt Romney appears to be an agent for the establishment deep state. I mean, I, I, <laughs> the, the Willard st- Romney owned, owns the building that the <laughs> establishment deep state lives in. That's as close as, uh, you know, and, and that, that, that's just hilarious to me. I mean, good luck, Mighty Moss. Right, man. Mitt Romney can buy and sell the state of Utah about twenty-three times over. He's in the safest Senate seat, Senate seat, you know, in in America. Sure, go ahead, censure him. See if they. I mean, Young Van Sass out in Nebraska has pretty much said that now twice. Go ahead and censure me. I don't care. Yeah. Well, we were t- we were just mentioning Charlie before the break about how they're busy doing that. A lot of the Republican state censuring Republicans, and then on the other hand. Uh, GOP mayors and governors line up for federal help despite Republican senators' blue state bailout talk. So even on COVID relief, they're completely split as a party. Republican governors and mayors be, right, mean, have been telling the Biden administration. Need the money. Governors need the money. Look at Greg Abbott. How's yeah. that secession thing working out for him? Yeah. 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 You know, uh, and, and, you know, Joe Biden, because he's president of the entire country and not a vengeful creep like the last guy, right. he's Ex- going to send him the, you know, he's, he's going to declare his disaster. Exactly. Send him the FEMA money. Exactly. And, you know, in six months, well, a hurricane will hit New right. Orleans or something. In so, a year, because, a hurricane mm-hmm. will hit New Orleans, and Greg Abbott will go back to blaming poor people. Right. right. And Republicans in, in charge of states and cities have found they're dealing with, of course, massive uh, potential cuts to public services after seeing their state's revenues plummet. Because I mean, everybody's been hit by COVID. I love the Republican mayor of Fresno out here, Charlie, said it's not a Republican issue or a Democrat issue. First of all, it is when you when you don't say Democratic, which is the word. Right. It's yeah. a public health issue. Right. It's an economic issue. It's a public safety issue. I mean, now they all want us to be the United States mm-hmm. of America, right? It's just when That's they need right. help, it's like, oh, now it's not a blue state bailout. Now we all need help. And it, it's, yeah, I, okay. Um, all right. You also uh, talked about Lindsey Graham saying Lara Trump is the biggest winner of the impeachment trial. And you just said sucking up across the generations. It's, it is amazing, his ability to. Yeah, what, what, does he, what does he gain by booming the candidacy of Lara Trump? Yeah. I mean, I can see what he, what he might gain, you know, supporting her old man when he was president. But there's no, I mean, there's no upside to this for for him, right? I mean, he's, I mean, the, the guy is a is like a he's a cabana boy at this point. <laughs> I'm sorry, and I mean that only in the in the strictest occupational sense. Of course, yes, yes, yeah. of course, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and how about Ron Johnson? I know one of your other favorites. Um, oh, he, does, oh, uh, he, he now says he, of freedom. Yes. Yeah, he now says he does not believe the attack on the Capitol was an armed insurrection. He went on to blame Democrats because of George Floyd protesters, something, burning something. He also alleged uh, Nancy Pelosi somehow knew something ahead of time. Um, He said, I never felt threatened and noted uh, he doesn't know any Trump supporters who would do that. What happened at the Capitol? He went on to claim that Pelosi and Schumer are attempting to turn 74 million Americans who voted for Trump into terrorists. He then claimed most of the attackers at the Capitol were helping the police. And yes, claimed that them for Demo- their eternal rewards. And claimed yeah. Democrats edited the video, video to make it look bad. He said, the fact of the matter is this didn't seem like an armed insurrection to me. I mean, armed, when you hear armed, don't you think firearms? But here's a question. How many firearms were confiscated? How many shots were fired? Um, I think at least six weapons were confiscated right yeah. now. Photos and videos. Of the well, fact- they found it. I mean, right. they found They're- at least five in that one guy's trunk. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Yeah, the guy right. who had the who also had the Semtex with him. But this is part of why I know you and I, Charlie, talking about witnesses, just for the historical record, for the public record, because here we go, the rewriting of what happened. Now, literally a couple weeks later, it was no big deal. No big deal. Not I didn't feel threatened. Not an armed insurrection. You're like, what? 
I, yeah, we, I mean, the, the people of my, my adopted home state of Wisconsin have got to rid of Ron Johnson. Yeah. This, is what I don't, this is what I hate about the Senate. You, you can elect, a, you know, a, a dabbling idiot congressman, and basically he can only damage the 100,000 people he, he, who voted for him. You elect yeah. a senator, you're electing a guy who's going to be like a nuisance to all of us. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. speaking of which, exhibit A through Z, Sean, give me uh, cut 16. Ted Cruz. I mean, talk, oh, about, yes. talk about cynicism. Here, here he is about the impeachment trial. I said, look, you got, you, you got to remember, you've already won. Hmm. There are not 67 votes to convict. There, there are 55 votes to convict plus minus two. I think there's a low of 53. I think there's a high of 57. And, and that's really the, the band that's in play. Um, so my opening advice was don't do anything to screw it up. Don't, you know, don't piss anyone off. I mean, Charlie, the cynicism and also... By the way, Ted, Ted Cruz is cracking up at this point. Yeah. But I mean, he... Uh, he you know, he's turned into a Twitter troll. He's got a podcast yeah. no one listens to. Yeah. He's not being a senator anymore. Right. But I mean, he and, and Hawley, like you think the people that most want to run for president would be the ones that would have been jumped at the chance to make sure Donald Trump can't run again. But I, I, speaking of cynicism, Charlie, I said this yesterday, but what do you think? I think they know he's going to be either dead or in prison or too feeble to run in four years. And they don't want to piss off his base by voting to convict, which when they know, even though they know he's guilty. Well, I mean, I think, you know, his, his coronary arteries are probably the size of the angel hair pasta at this point. So uh, I, I, I totally expect With a pesto. To be incapacitated. incapacitated. By, I think his cholesterol know, level, his cholesterol level is of pesto sauce levels. His blood is made of pesto. <laughs> I was, I was, no, his blood isn't made of pesto. He doesn't eat pesto. He eats like KFC. Yeah, he, he's not, <laughs> he's blood, not fancy is, enough for pesto. His blood is, his blood is, are those awful pre-made mashed potatoes you get at KFC. It might be yeah. Chef Boyardee. He might have Chef Boyardee yeah, you're right. running through his veins. Pesto that's would possible. be like homo sauce. He wouldn't eat that. Yeah, spaghetti that's sauce. Yeah, exactly. Plus, plus, it's green. He doesn't eat green food. True. <laughs> All right, Charlie. Best of is luck to you. Green? I'm, I'm, I may be wrong about that. It is. It is it's green. green. It is. Thank you. Because yeah. it, it's made of basil. It's not like exactly. I. It's not like I'm the healthiest eater either, by the way. <laughs> but uh, I do know what pesto is, and I do know that John, that that Donald Trump would think is like. You'd think his pasta was moldy because there was this green stuff all over <laughs> it doesn't matter your jody hamilton's love for you never dims despite your whatever. i understand you that cannot... by the way can i just can i just say something you know my devotion to jody is boundless but yes. Yes. is there a better smile on the radio than dana goldberg's oh I she's know. a little ray yeah. Yeah. she's a little I mean, ray of yeah, sunshine comes on 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 on, on well, i guess to, uh thursdays right? yes right yes i don't even know what day it is at this point <laughs> And she just starts smiling, and like the world is, you know, I know. she turns yeah. the world on. She with does her smile. turn the world on with she her does. smile. She does. She's got a beautiful a smile. I thought you were going to say me, but uh, okay. Well, no, you're. Fine. I mean, you're a ray of sunshine. You know, every day. Thank it's you. Right there, you can see it. She's yeah. the sun she's just comes a, on her like the Lord. She's a Thursday ray. Okay, we love you, Charlie. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. Thank, Thank you, Charlie. Charlie. Bye, Bye, Charlie. Bye. Forty-eight like minutes out of here. after the.